Hi, Cleve. I'm Kate Hastings, and you don't know me, but your work has made a big difference in my life and my understanding of sentient beings in the universe. Your, your work with plants has been incomparable, and though you may not realize that it, it's formed a foundation that the rest of us have been able to use as a, as a basis level of how to regard the rest of the world. So best wishes to you, your great health, your well-being, and are the appreciation of so many people, myself, to you for the work that you've brought forth in the world. Mark Abadi asked me to tell you how I've come to be recorded this evening, and I'm here with a meeting of the International Society for the Study of Subtle Energies and Energy Medicines. And uh, I'm the chair of the board and have been aware of your work for all these decades and years and have used it scholastically as well. So I thank you and let you know that our organization brings you great greetings and wish you were here with us this evening. Hi Cleve, my name is Denise Lewis Primshack. I am the current CEO of IC. We had a wonderful conference. Four days of it are done and we're moving into the uh, four days of post-conference. And I was invited to send you well wishes and I would like to do that here and now. Be well and be happy. Hi, Cleve. My name is Srini. I was a professor in Indian Institute of Technology in Madras, India, biomedical engineering for about 20 years. And I came here to the U.S. to do some work with the Fetzer Institute in Michigan, later on with ARE Clinic in Phoenix, and doing some research in alternative therapies. I know, I've read your book, I know of your work, and I have greatest respect for the path-breaking ideas you have given in your book. And it's so fantastic that I talked about you and your book, both in India and here. And it's wonderful to say hello to you. And thank you so deeply for everything you've done to this, this area of subtle energies. You're probably the first person working with living systems. Thank you very much. I hope you have a good life and come back and tell us one day all your experiences. Bye for now. Uh, hi Cleve, uh, I'm Larry Goldberg. <coughs> Excuse me, Larry Goldberg, a philosopher of science, um, uh, uh, inspired by the uh, secret life of plants and uh, cells and atoms and brains and uh, solar systems, galaxies and the cosmos. And I, I think that uh, electromagnetic systems uh, that are uh, uh, organized um, uh, with bifurcation points that cycle through uh, various possibilities, exploring uh, different, rehearsing different options, uh, uh, have the opportunity to choose to move in one direction or another. Uh, uh, it's a far from equilibrium context that uh, enables them to uh, 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 apply conscious experience and uh, plants uh, uh, do this in their own way, cells do, brains do, and, and, and so uh, somehow uh, uh, our electromagnetic oscillations have, uh, let us say, an organizing effect on the vacuum which uh, may set up wave functions that represent the options that we're exploring and give uh, our level of conscious uh, experience an opportunity to explore those options and to move in one direction or another when the wave function collapses or, or, or decoheres. So uh, 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 consciousness is, is not really um, uh, an anomaly uh, 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 or an accident in the universe, it's a fundamental feature of how far from equilibrium systems are organized. When they're organized enough to interface with the vacuum and create organized patterns down there, just as atomic structure is sustained through a relationship with vacuum fluctuations, so too uh, uh, our brain uh, uh, patterns uh, reflect our relationship with the vacuum. So uh, I at least uh, 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 wish you uh, Godspeed and, and uh, 
uh, uh, the deepest possible connection with the source that you uh, uh, so long ago recognized as, uh, as universal in the full spectrum of life. Cleve Baxter. Uh, this is a communication with you. Uh, my name is Dr. Juan Acosta. Mexican, born and raised in Mexico. I'm a neurophysiologist and I'm a student of consciousness and I do studies involving um, EEG brain mapping and heart rate variability analysis. So I'm uh, all about uh, recording physiological changes uh, under altered states of consciousness, healing states uh, interest me. I became aware of your work uh, many years ago uh, when I was uh, opening my scope of, you know, what is the what is the universe really about, and I want to tell you how much gratitude I feel for the work that you pioneered. You showed us that plants have consciousness; they have a sentience. You used electrophysiological equipment to measure responses from plants. Um, you opened up the cross-species communication, you know, humans to plants. I now uh, have a very rich and uh, fulfilling understanding of our relationship to plants. I work with uh, plant medicines. I'm familiar with some of the, uh, you know, entheogens, and I've learned a great deal from that. So I want to relate a message of thanks, gratitude. Uh, you charted new ground. You're true, a you're a true pioneer, explorer and my hat to you Dr. Cleve Baxter with deep appreciation best to you Dr. Baxter I am Jerry Weish I am a psychologist I've never met you I've been president of ICEAM twice and I've been on the board for years it is my appreciation to you for being willing to be on the forefront ahead of your time thank you so much for your courage as we do for the soldiers where I work at Fort Hood, thank you for your service. Hi, Cleve, this is Dr. Enrico Melson. You can just call me Rico. I am uh, I'm honored to have this moment to share with you the fact that you are a great honor to me. Uh, just knowing you and just having the these, this connection here is, is really very important. Um, you're, you're a giant, you're uh, a maven, you're a role model, you're a mentor, uh, you're a great heart and a great spirit. Um, it's sad that you are not here in this moment and yet it's exhilarating at the same time that so many people are talking about you and that Young Marcus here is uh, undertaking this mini project of recording these tributes to you. So I just really want to say namaste for all that you are and all that you have done and all that you inspire in so many others. Uh, as for me, if you have any desire to know a little bit more about me, you can sort of check out a website uh, of a project that I had initiated a couple years back. It's called um, globalintegrativemedicine.net globalintegrativemedicine.net and again my name is Enrico Melson and um, it's about you though not about me thank you so much peace and blessings to you get well remain the light that you are hi Cleve my name is John Cowan and although we've never met I've certainly followed a lot of your work, and each time I see more, I get more and more fascinated. I certainly hope that you will regain your health and your power to do more of your wonderful work. My best to you.
Hi Cleve, I'm Bernie Williams. We've never met, but I've followed your work uh, ever since you started, and it's always been an inspiration. I'm the uh, outgoing president of the International Society for the Study of Subtle Energies and Energy Medicine, and this community uh, considers you uh, not only one of the pioneers, but one of the saints. Uh, I have a close colleague who uh, works with flower essences and uh, her ability to interact intimately with plants uh, is inspirational uh, in the same way as yours. So uh, I trust your uh, well and uh, bright in the future.